Good morning, Finlanders. How you doing? Oh, I've had the digger running for about 15 minutes now, 20 minutes maybe. Yeah, at least I can see what I'm doing a bit now. It's amazing how strong trees are really. I've got 12 ton of 360 uh, nursing onto this, under this tree and it still won't budge. Grumpy Dad is fixing, trying to fix the spray and just get that sorted out. Failing that, somebody will come out to it and we'll, we'll fix it ourselves. I'll try and fix it ourselves as best we can, but just got a low voltage to the um, to the hand throttle weirdly and uh, it, won't, it would either, either rev flat out or it won't rev at all. So just trying to fix that. I mean, it's something simple, I bet. By the time we figure it out, we'll be like, oh, why don't we check that to start with, you know, one of them situation so while grumpy dad is fixing that he, we've got some potato orders to do as well but only a few we've only got a few left now folks only like for a regular customers great or one regular customer just keeping him happy for the rest of the year nothing too major and uh yeah as you can see we're still plugging logs out of the plugging a log out here and there uh trying to do some ditching work now i can see what i'm doing and the sun's not in my eyes oh man i can't get hold of these bits of wood dike's full of bits of wood and ice this morning and ice i'm going to try and do some cool filming i'm going to try and waffle on as long as i can should have slight homes coming to get some sugar beet at some point as well today and i'm hoping that the other company was going to come in and lift the rest of the sugar beet for me and take it off to the ad plant busy busy i was going to hold today day drinking with my good friend james but i didn't realize he was in london i must have got the wrong end of the stick or something but i'm sure he's didn't come to hold yeah so uh, here i am Still working and not day drinking. Ah, man. Oh, there's another big log there. It's gonna take a little bit of clearing up this, um, all these trees and stuff everywhere where Russell's got them out of the dike. Yeah, it can't do, really do anything about it. So they've got to come out. I've got to get all this wood out. I'm just having to pick, pick like little bits of wood out and tip them out to slow me way down. Good job I'm not on price work, isn't it? Just keep nudging another little bit back into the bucket and getting that out. They bits of wood will soon uh, soon fall apart, but I don't want them in the dike, so I'm going to end up with a lake on the field. <laughs> yeah. All good fun, isn't it? It's like lumberjacking with a digger. Trying to break a little branch off from a root is just ridiculous. They're, they're so tough. Obviously, a digger is not a uh, perfect tool for um, lumberjacking, but it is my tool for lumberjacking. There we go, that's what it is. Now I just got to get it out of the dike. There's bloody tons of it, tons and tons and tons of it. But worth doing, worth persevering. And, oh, uh, still attached somewhere. Oh, I'll come back to that bit. I can't be bothered. I run out of patience with that bit. Yeah, I'm going to run out of patience really quickly with this job today. Just taking a little, tiny little sliver of dirt out every time. So much wood. Oh no, and I dropped it. Running commentary on how the uh, lumberjack is going, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to be out here for a month or so just picking wood up this way. Trying to get little bits of wood out while trying not to get no dirt in it. It's not, um, it's not happening. Come on. And trying to fill in holes where the roots were. Ah. <laughs> just making a mess, I think. Just making a mess. Hey, it's a good job I haven't sold my disc yet because uh, that disc is going to be godsend when it comes to uh, chopping up all this wood and, um, and and pulling all the rubbish around, trying to get it to dry out. It's all like a mixture of wood and slub mixed together. Shockingly horrible. I'm hoping it all gets better at some point. Not the weirdest thing I'll see all day, I know. That's a massive tree. Let me uh, I'll just keep waffling for a little bit longer and uh, tell you how it's all going, but then I'll try and mix it up a little bit. Not working, not working. Just so much wood just keeps falling out of the dike. Falling out of the other side there. Another bit out, little bits at a time. At least we're down to chalk or something down there now, so. Ah, there we go, there's a whole load of it, Please. I have a second dig in that one. Oh, look, there's another bit of tree in there. I'm going to put you lot on a time lapse.
Yeah, we're doing some uh, deforestation today. Well, we're supposed to be doing some ditching, but it's more like deforestation. Loads of trees in the dike all got to come out, all rotted trees and stuff all fell over and stuff. You can see there was a line of trees along here. And they all keep coming. The wind always blows this way, not my field. And uh, they all keep falling my way, so, oh well, I'll get the wood out of it. I got a um, forestry commission coming out on Monday, which is exciting. I'm going to attempt to plant some woodlands and stuff in uh, on the farm. All my little corner bits and stuff where we put game covers and things like that. I'm just going to put some woodlands in, I think. And a nice big strip of trees down beside the farm here. Which will be nice once I get rid of all my out of the side here. So that'll be good. Nice to have a little woodland and stuff. We can take the dogs for a walk and the kids can go and play in and roam around in. Can't wait. It'll be, it'll be great. Leave the land in a better state than I left it and I found it. Now George is now coming for some sugar beet. So I've had to pack up drilling, uh, drilling, ditching. I had to pack up ditching for a little while and go and sort George out, go and get him uh, sorted out with some more sugar beet. And then hopefully the other lot should be in to collect the, um, harvest and stuff uh collect the rest of the sugar beet so that's what we'll do jcb i fired up this morning so that should be nice and toasty in there it's a bit cold again this morning minus two or threes i reckon just enough to make everything crunchy and firm but not that cold it's all run out fast now so we're trying our best on the sprayer to get that fixed as well a flaming nuisance that's what today entails yeah we're the second day into these sugar beet so they were lifted yesterday this time yesterday morning they're not leaking out as bad as i thought they were going to be but you can smell them you can smell them. They stink. I don't suppose the sheep mine matter. Don't really care about that at all. So just keep tidying up after myself and uh, move the drill out of the shed. And look what I've left myself. And a freshly swept out shed. So I'm going to get on and do that. I'm going to clean all of my mud up. Then we'll wait for George to get back in. That's me mud all cleared out. It's amazing I got a whole wheelbarrow out of off the tractor wheels just in not long. Uh, out there drilling that field yesterday, it's all flaked off and fell in the shed. So I'm going to sit around, uh, go and check my rat stations and uh, wait for George to get back. Cheers guys. Yeah, we're out here now, let's load in George up. Hopefully I'm not boring you lot too much. Yeah, it seems like that. a shame to be throwing these sugar beet at the sheep, but here's what it is. I'm not the only one, I was talking to someone the other day and they got 50 acres left in the ground. Makes me feel a bit better about having my like 8 or 10 acres, but that's still bad enough. So make or break time for sugar beet. They're paying good money for it, but uh, I know we've all got caught out this year, but I'm sure we've had, I'm sure we've had just as bad a crop as we've had this year and uh, and the sugar beet factory still took them, you know, they were still a bit frozen and they're still taking them, so obviously not, I don't know. Maybe they weren't that bad, I just can't remember. Dad says we need a break crop, but we really don't. Week after week, we can get away with it. You know, doing a good job of week after week. I mean, my best weeks this year were like four, fourth week. So I just see there's a world record of 17.88 tons a hectare. Um, that's the new world record. Well, my, my, my combine was saying 18.3 tons a hectare. So. Yeah, I don't know whether mine's right or not, but I uh, beat a world record, so uh, who's the best wheat farmer ever? Yeah, that's me. I'm the best potato farmer in the land as well. I don't think there's any end to my uh, given talents, is there? Loaded, job done. Another one uh, done. So he's had six loads out of me now. Um, yeah, we're going for the sheepies. We're going for the sheepies. So we'll uh, just lock the shed up, then we'll head back to the farm because I am ready for a bit of docky. Oh, I am starving. Yeah, I ain't eaten nothing yet today. I know, I know. Believe it or not. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'll probably uh, turn you off, and then we're going to get on and start fixing the delta. Cheers, guys. Good afternoon, Fentlanders. Might have accidentally fell asleep in a chair, didn't I? So, here we go. 
just had a cup of tea, load of biscuits, ready for the afternoon ahead. Ah, oh, there we go. Go and get the Delta fixed. Grumpy Granddad, I see he'd got the Green Bailey on. I'm not getting that fixed. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting stuff lined up. Tick, tick, tick. Bang, bang, bang. Getting it all fixed. Got a parcel here. Ta da! That's reasonably light considering. See how Grumpy Granddad's getting on. Ooh! Right, let me go and get my tools and then I'll be back to you. Here we go. It's like Christmas. Look. Ta da! I know this is uh, the wrong colour red for what we're dealing with, but they all come blue. I think they're all, it's all, I think it's all Lemkin stuff, so. I'd say the bolts are nearly worn out anyway. I need a hammer. Right, it looks like I may actually have to get a hammer. Grumpy Dad's just catching up with the arches. Bolts are all worn out, so might as well just change them. I think I got my money's worth out of that one, don't you? It'll stay at the head of the bolt. If I put that back in, it's just not gonna grip anything. So, I'll keep it as a spare. I'll chuck it back in the pot. Cause remember, it has got them, it has got the little uh, squares cut out, so it will grip something. It will grip something. They're pretty worn out as well. Thing started turning. But I burned the end of the, the nut over. Now I can't get it undone. Right, let me just go and see if I got some of these. They're pretty worn out as well. Just gotta see if they fit. Sometimes they don't fit. Like that. Ooh, like a glove. Stick. And a nut gun. There we go, I'd say that was successful. So I wouldn't have changed, I can't remember ever changing any of this metal for about five or six years or something. But there you go, look. They do wear out. I mean, this was doing a thousand acres at one point. This would do a lot of work, but I haven't changed any metal on it recently, so. I'm just starting to think I don't really need it that much. Kind of need something to replace it before I sell it. Does that make sense to you, look? There we go, you're upside down. God, that's well worn out, that is. Ta da! Get this old metal on first. One nut. Hmm, that one's even more worn out. Got our money's worth, haven't we? Got our money's worth. Let's just try this then, folks. Let's see if this will work. Oh no. No, no. No, 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 no. Let me see. If not, I'm going to have to cut it. Oh, that was easy. That was even easier. No choppy choppy needed. Shall we? Man, no, the frog's not loose either. You can see the wings are starting to get a bit worn out. They are starting to get a bit worn, but they'll live to bite another day. Next time I change this point over, I'll change the wings over. Grumpy Grandad's in there gas acting something. Where the little dowel sits through the um, leaf spring, like, it sits like that. There's a pit in there where the head of the bolt sits in, and Grumpy Grandad's just cleaning that out. Not straight, really. If I can get away with putting that nut on, I'm going to put that nut on. Let's see if we can get away with putting that nut on. This is where it goes on halfway and then just spreads up. <laughs> and I end up having to cut it all off. Come on, tappy tappy. Come on, can't even get the socket off now. There we go. All stuff, good stuff to throw away. Has a bit grumpy granddad to keep that old metal. Nah, you never know. You never know. This is where I slice the end off my finger. So that ain't gonna take no wear in there for a while. Oh, so I can do it up. Let's get out. Let's just put a real long bolt in. Be done with it. Like a subtoiler bolt.
Right, got me now. Just need a, I just need a bigger bolt. Back in a second. Right, where was we? Sorry about that. I need a spacer nut, also known as a 16 mil nylock. That run out of length. <laughs> Giggity goo. Now I need a deep socket. So I'll be back again in a second. Yeah, I was good for girth, and so was my socket. Then I was bad for length. So here we are, final little do -up. There we go. All right, hopefully that's it. Hopefully I'm finished now. You can see the only two bits of metal I needed to replace on this. The wings are starting to get a bit worn out, but they're gonna they're gonna last. I mean, I may sell it soon anyway, so. If I can find a Verdostat carrier or something to replace this and go like mad with it, real shallow cultivation, um, get get her done, type kind of cultivation, and just mix the top two inches of straw in, fairly cheap. Then uh, then this can go. So we shall see. But I think I've picked up everything. Get this back in the shed, and I'll come back out here and we'll go in the tractor. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I didn't get out day drinking. Gutted. Just gonna have to power with nighttime drinking instead. So uh, I got a little bit bored. I changed the. Um, Metal, some wearing metal on the delta, as you've already seen. Yeah, just uh, I've got frayer in bits, so waiting on more parts for that, I think. And Grumpy Granddad's gonna have another go at it over the weekend and see if we can figure anything out. And um, yeah, I just uh, got bored, so uh, here I am, just going around the outside of my beet fields. Uh, it's gonna be the last weekend to have the motocross kids at mine, so uh, they'll uh, completely understand. I've got to start spreading some muck around. And next week, I think, is the date when you can start actually spreading muck around. So as soon as that date comes, I think it's the 15th of February, but uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, as you can probably see, I don't know if you can see behind me, see in front of me. It's not actually that grassy this year because we haven't had much rain and the frost, is, the frost has hampered everything. So I'm just going out uh, pulling the outsides of my fields up. Uh, giving them a little tickle over just to get rid of any like grassy bits because this is coming sugar beet. So the sugar beet and tater fields I'm doing. I've done some digging this morning. Yeah, just trying to see the day out really. Just trying to keep myself busy. Grumpy Granddad's putting the green Bailey trailer back together. Making some dowels that go to hold the axle on the, on the spring. So making them. Hopefully we'll get some wheels on that. Just missing a one, one uh, wheel stud for that. Um, but that should be on order and yeah this would be the end of my day so i'm probably gonna sign out now and go and uh, plonk my dirty ass in the bath and then go out and have some beer with jeffrey shane shane's got covid so should no shane tonight so poor old boy uh, me nod and uh, jeffrey are going to drink some beers i'm not going to drink try and remember me not to drink any peroni tonight because i don't agree with me yeah, go and have a few beers, chill out. I'm on day two of not having a fag, so let me see if I can muster that all weekend. But as soon as I have a beer, I'm like, ooh, where's the cigarettes at? But I know it's a bad habit for you, but I kind of been smoking since I was 14, so kind of difficult to give up really, isn't it? So I'll get there, I'll get there, don't worry, I'll get there. Yeah, and then tomorrow I'm just gonna sort the motocross kids out, get them all squared up and sorted out. And I am going to. I'll just I'll, I'll run over my fields with um with my terror disc, get them all flattened down, and yeah, just just freshen them up really, so they they're all good to um start spreading muck on next week. Or I'll just leave them and then spread the muck on and then mix them around. But I think they'll want if I'm going to go for any kind of mint till style of drilling on my sugar beet and stuff, they want pulling around a couple of times so they so they're nice and soft and fluffy and uh and and like no bits in them. We shall see. We shall see. So I don't know what next week's going to bring really. I mean, I've got a farm sale coming up, I hope. Uh, fingers crossed I'm going to get to that and have a look. By the time you've watched that, I would have been to the farm sale and hopefully bought what I wanted to buy there, maybe. I think there's a six metre Verdestat drill that doesn't look too bad in it, but it's the other side of Aylsham in Norfolk. So anything in Norfolk, normally I say is wore out. So we'll, we'll have a look, we'll see. Hope it's in reasonably good condition and only needs a uh, few coulters on it by the looks of it. So I'm just going to run my tractor across the headland now as fast as I can, get all the mud off it, and then I'm going to go out and clean it down. Ah! Get all the mud off my wheels before I go back on the road. Ooh, bouncy. Ooh. There we go. 
Now I'm just going to go around with my gloves and uh, scoot all the crap off the uh, delta, all the crap off my tractor and take it back to the yard. So that is my day done. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Leave us a comment, say hello. Anything you want really, just, just keep the interaction going. We love talking to you, we love uh, all the different fans with all different opinions and stuff and all the little tips and uh, hints and stuff you all keep giving me when I'm doing things. You know, you're never too old to learn and if somebody's got a different way of doing things, I'd like to know it, you know? So, yeah, it's all good. Thank you guys. Cheers, bye. Good morning, Finlanders. And on today's episode, we are gonna go and get some sugar beet lifted and we're gonna get some wheat drilled and I'm gonna try and wake up. So, we just got some shuffling around. I gotta get the yard brush out for the JCB. So we've got a chaser. Sugar beet harvester, different different gang harvesting the sugar beet and a chaser with them. So they're uh, just around here at the minute. Big old chaser. Can't see it. So yeah, we've got sugar beet going on, we've got drilling going on, and we're gonna have to try and keep the road clear. So we're in the JCB at six o'clock in the morning. The uh, fellas from Pretoria Energy have just turned up to get their sugar beet harvester. I didn't really have a very good night's sleep last night. I went on the Doom Bar last night. I was on the Doom Bar and uh, I thought I'll have a, I'll have a load of Doom Bar in me and uh, probably have a better night's sleep because it's not all gassy. And here we are, after having about three hours sleep. Yay! But excited for the day ahead, sort of, a little bit, um, not mainly. <laughs> so hopefully I can get my, my wheat drill today finished up. That's done with then, isn't it? So jobs are good on that front. So that's that bit done, right. Boxes out of the way for the motocross kids. What's next? Uh, get these forks dropped off somewhere and get the yard brush and just check that over and see what that looks like. Should be okay, I mean. Should be all good. The fork's dropped off again. Take this with me up Lee Farm. And then I can go and get my drill loaded up with weed. Go and get my tractor fired up. Oh yeah, and then before you know it, fish bash bosh, we're all done. There we go, yard brush collected. And no point in piping it up yet, because I've got to take it off again in a second. Get some boom suspension, let's have some of that. Right, yard brush collected. Yeah, it looks like it's full of dirt. Right, let's fill this puppy up with dinosaur bones, and then we'll go. Nice and peaceful out here at six o'clock in the morning, but I really don't want to be out here, but there you go. We are. Yeah, we'll go and get the drill out of the shed, get the drill loaded up with another bag of seed, and then just head straight down there and try and chase after the beet harvester as uh, fast as we can. Try and keep on top of that, and then I'll just have to come back and uh, clean the road if Grumpy Granddad has woken up. Ooh. Yeah, you can't see me now turning my bloody lights off, can you? My bloody lights have gone off. Yeah, I've got a car coming the other way, so. There we go, car's gone. You might be able to see me better now. Yeah, they're shutting the road near us, so uh, we thought we'd go out and have a few beers. Shane, bless him, still got COVID, so he doesn't sound very good. Uh, hope he gets better soon, Shane. And uh, Nod didn't feel very good either last night, so that's no good. So it's just me, Jeff, and Dad in the end. Oh, and James, he turned up as well. Met some fans in the pub, which was awesome. Everyone looking at my chile thinking he looks like he might be a farmer, which was kind of cool. Oh, there's more mud flying off me. Uh, I'm leaving more dirt on the road than I should be. This uh, yard brush obviously didn't get cleaned down very well. We are at Lee Farm. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get everything bad up. Get me drill out and then I'll uh, reconvene in a second. Cheers, guys. So here we are. We've got the uh, 6215R all uh, fired up, safety check done. And uh, we're now just going to get ourselves lined up for uh, filling her up with weed. Get it right out of the way so the chaser can get in here. Chaser's going to load the lorry straight in our yard. Uh, anyone with a command pro, if you're driving along and you want to park up or whatever, can you, not obviously fast, but around the yard, if you're driving forward, you just press park. Seems okay to me. So I'm using it. Um, just uh, <coughs> hitting park as I... Uh, and I pull up somewhere, you know. I don't know whether that's a thing you're supposed to do or not. Uh, and I don't know. Right, <clears throat> go get the JCB again. Get the gloves off I've finished all my daily checks. I don't really know which way to work this. Take the loader down the field, get a lift back. Take my drill down there or take my drill down there and just get a lift back when, um, when the chaser driver comes to help. Come back and get the loader and then I can keep the road clean then. You gotta keep the road clean. Clarkson's farm was out last night. I really, I really can't watch it. I really just cannot watch it. I just uh, cringe at it. I don't know why. I think Clarkson's great, but I just think he's trying to act more stupid than he actually is. 
for the camera. I wish it would just be a little less. I don't know what the word is really. I just um, I started watching it last night in bed, and uh, I just cannot watch it. I just can't can't watch. I don't know why. Uh, Let me get the bag off the back of this trailer. I'm trying to unload the trailer so it don't then flip over backwards, which can happen. Uh, so yeah, just trying to get the weight off it in a certain way, shall we say? More dirt to sweep up. Brilliant. No, no. There we go. One more bag of Skyfall. Done. Get myself jammed in the shed. Clarkson didn't say how much his Michelin tyres were yesterday, did he? Man, they were a pretty penny. Either that or they went and put them on for nothing. I see Farrell uh, John Deere dealers are on there. But then I suppose if they're his closest dealer, then that's who he deals with, so. Oh, that's the thing. I don't know if I can actually, I can't actually get my drill unfolded on my own. That might be an issue. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I mean, Chase is back here already, look. That didn't take him long. Let me get this out of the way. That didn't take him long at all. Man, that is a whopper of a machine. So rushing around now, you have to just be careful because that's when accidents do happen. Me scurrying around and people coming in and out of the yard as quick as anything. You soon put the loader through the roof of the shed. You can soon crack into the drill. You soon do a lot of things you weren't supposed to do, so. Take your time and get it done. There we go. We'll leave this uh, loader in the shed. <coughs> Size of that thing, look. The whopper. Hold the whole lorry load, I'm guessing. And then he's got some kind of tractor on the front. I've never seen one of them before. What it look like a lawnmower? That's a proper quick and easy way to load a lorry, isn't it? All right, he's going to leave a load of dirt all over the floor, but that's the way to do it. So I don't know if he can get a whole trailer load in there or not, really. There's dirt and all sorts of rubbish going up the harvester, so up the uh, chaser. I'm looking at the elevator. He is taking a fair bit of dirt. I an hour, it's just beat top. It may be beat top. Maybe they're just, uh, maybe they're just cutting them. Well, no, maybe they're not even topping them or cutting them or anything. While they're doing that, I've got to clean the road. I can't go drilling and then clean the road later. He's got to wait for another load, or is he done? Wondering what's going on. Yeah, I don't know these boys. I don't know how they work. Let's see if we can nip out here quickly before his tail swings around. I ain't got a clue what's going on. They're all um, Eastern European. They, some, they speak pretty good English, so. I managed to know roughly what's going on, what they're doing and what they're planning. I guess the lorry's just gonna out and wait until uh wait until he's got a proper load in him, so that's all he can do. Get out of the way. I'm worried his tail of his um chaser might swing out of the way. So now I got the unenviable task of trying to get this uh bucket brush which we've not used in uh, god knows how long. Trying to get that on! So I'll go and do that. Oh hang on. Um release. Release the pressure! <coughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's got himself a lorry load, so... I thought that released the pressure anyway, it still seems like there's a... Ah, there we go. Still seems like a lot of pressure on there. Why won't you release the pressure? It's so nearly there. There we go. We're away. We should be all good then, folks. We should be all good. Put my boom suspension on. He can come back to see me now. They're near to get daylight now. Almost want another loader here to clear up their mess. You see how much dirt is on the floor, look. All come out of that chaser. Sugar bit chaser. Let's have some flashing lights and some work lights. And we're going to get a mud on road sign to put them out so uh, everyone knows the only thing you can try and do is keep the road clear as best you can, innit? That's all you can do. 
go and do what I've got to do and then uh, yeah hopefully grumpy granddad will be out of bed by then uh, that didn't take him long at all to get a uh, load he's on his way back again now so at least them boys were like oh you're gonna clean the road make sure you clean the road like yeah we'll clean the road don't worry mate we'll get on it come on mate that is a massive massive thing you not see that uh. here he comes Didn't take him long to get a trailer load, did it? Now you'd think if there was a big old sign in the middle of the road saying caution mud on road, they would, uh, people would slow down for that, but they just don't pay any attention to any road signs at all. None whatsoever. Not a sausage. So there's too many road signs out. I mean, there's road signs for everything these days, so the less you put out, the more people pay attention to them, you would think. All right, let's get ourselves comfortable. Ah, uh, okay, don't wait back then. There's a blog. Getting a road swept. I just waved to someone because I was in the middle of the road and uh, say, sorry, you know, I'm in the middle of the road, you can't come past me. Nothing, not a damn thing. Let's try and clear up my cousin's mess that they made. Let's see if it'll clean up. <laughs> you would think even if they saw me in the middle of the road, they would uh, think about their journey a little bit more, but people don't think that bothered by me being in the middle of the road, so... Ugh. Nah, it's too far gone, this. Nah, it's not really picking up the dried on stuff, so we'll bag up and we'll go and try our bit. Nah, uh, it's cleaning the road a little bit, I suppose. Ugh, not cleaning the road at all there. Yeah, it's definitely working. It's definitely working, look. Oh yeah. Been old road. Hey, it's not really that wide, that bucket brush, but it wants to be like the same size as the road, but then you, you want like an auto contour following bloody bucket brush. Fair old bit of hoovered up, look. Can you see that? I'm gonna switch you lot off until I do something exciting. Hey, it's Palmer Palmer. It's a proper, proper nice uh, harvester he's got there. Matty Waters, if you're looking, looking for a new harvester, maybe get, get yourself one of them out on demo. Seems as though it's doing a lovely job. So, oh, where my dad is. Grumpy Grandad uh, was going to come down here and help me get my drill set up. Or get my drill unfolded, should I say. I think I've got the drone. I've got the drone. We'll put the drone up in a minute. I didn't catch the fella's name in the harvester, but I've just been for a round with him. Should have filmed, really. Should have put it on camera. But I'm flagging a little bit now. Dry and cloudy all day. Lovely. I am starting to really love my tractor now. So I've got to try and unfold my drill on my own and it, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Get our four wheel drives in and stuff and then get the fan on. Grumpy dad down here. We'll get some diff lock on to go in a second. Auto track on. Uh, we're a bit out. Let's go for there somewhere. Put it in park. Time's down. <sighs> I'll switch you lot back on in a minute when, when I'm up and running. Cheers guys. Say hi then. I'll get some more footage of him filming. Get some more footage of him working before he goes. Nice lad, seems like a nice bloke. Well, he is a nice bloke. Happy for me to go in there and tell me all about it. So I won't ask him to go and film while I'm in there, but I'll let him get on with his job. And yeah, he'll be on camera next week. He's like, let me know, let me know, let me know when I'm on there and I'll, I'll, I'll um, and he can watch it then. Yeah, it seems like he's doing a nice job. He's not leaving any beat or anything. And the uh, beat actually don't look as bad as I thought they were gonna be. But like you said, if you leave them in the trailer overnight or in a chaser, you'll have a puddle underneath it in the morning. They are that bad, you know, they are. They are pretty bad. Till you chop one in half, you don't know. So it is what it is, folks. Can't do nothing about it. So can't do nothing about it. I, I'm having to. I'm having to cultivate first. I'm having to cultivate first, and then go over it and drill it. Doesn't leave it as flat as what the agrofat does, but getting a bee out in a pretty good way. So yeah, just leaving a ridge in the middle of the field. Where it's leaving that ridge, I just can't get through it. So. We're just doing a bit of mild cultivation to start with, and then we'll uh, we'll get on and drill it after that, which is no problem. It would have been nice to if I'd have, if I'd have drilled it crossways, it'd have been ace. It. It'd have been mega, but or he could have harvested them crossways and saved me the effort. But yeah, no. So this is the last of our sugar beet to go to the factory. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to the factory or whether they're going to the AD plant. I really don't know. Oh dear, the hangover is getting worse. I'm not hungover at all. 
How's my hair? Look good. Good. Looking good. Yeah. Cool. Looking rain. Uh, I got serious hat hair going on. They're waiting on trailers. They ain't got enough lorries on the go, but the chase is now coming back. So when the chase is coming back, I'll put the drone up. Even though I'm not actually drilling, I was hoping to be drilling beside him. Nice hey, Ventura hair. Yeah, not hung over at all. No, I just uh, should have gone for a walk around last night. I should have walked a bit further and digested my food a little bit. It is now. So, I will switch you lot off for a minute and then I'll put the drone up. Cheers guys. I don't know if you lot can see that, how much is compressing the soil. A lot of weight going on there. Mega bit of kit. Got crabs down the field so you don't get so much compaction going on. Here we are folks, we're in the yard now. We've got, uh, Martin's got a new bucket. Look at this bucket of, bucket of magnificence. I can call it a bucket of, a bucket of magnificence. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? But it is a bucket and it's magnificent. So yeah, we're just uh, gonna have a little play around with this uh, new general purpose bucket. Martin's gonna take some pictures. We're gonna run it on the, uh, sorry they're not clean. <laughs> I would have washed them had I known they were doing a modelling. Uh... <laughs> go on, go on, say some. Washed them if I'd have known they'd got a modelling job to do. Uh, some of the dirty models are the best. Some of the dirty models are the best, yeah. You get some pictures on that one, Martin, if you want me to move, pick it up and down and stuff. Right. Grumpy Grandad's here as well, so we're tag teaming on the bucket. So we've got a load of dirt that wants turning over out on the field. Do you want me to lift it up in the air or anything? Move it around. We think that's a bit too big for this loader, don't we? Yeah, we think it's a bit, bit, a bit colossal for this. Um, right? Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll swap with Dad now. And uh, I mean, it's a really, really big bucket for this uh, little loader. Like, especially for moving aggregates and stuff like that. We'll find out in a minute. We're gonna go fill it up with dirt and uh, give it a. I'll swap them over. But, so yeah, we've just had to fix the JCB. Sorry, I wasn't filming. I think Anna got some of it on film, and yeah, we've lost the earth on the uh, little priming pump for the uh, for the um, for the fuel system. So it just it wouldn't um, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't prime up. So run for a few minutes and then conk out. So we've just hardwired it in. So no uh, no damage to itself. But Martin wanted to do some new pictures of his new bucket. So. Here we are. We're gonna go do some digging with it. What do you reckon? Do you want some pictures on that? We'll go out on the field then. Yeah. Then we'll come back in here and do some filming. We'll do some filming in here. It's out of the way of the motocross kids. We're only going out the side there, Martin. Yeah, well, we've got Grumpy Grandad for 10 minutes. We'll just move some soil around. I want to try it on this little loader. This little loader is just as capable as the others, so get one near me anyway. I'll perch you lot somewhere and uh, we'll do some filming.
As you can see, folks, that's real proper hard, that hard dirt there, digging in nicely. It's amazing how hard that stuff packs down. It's like almost digging into heavy clay. Almost, yeah, not, not quite, but... That's what I mean, it's going to make... Oh yeah, Dad set his uh, trip off, yeah. Welcome. Got about three, two, two or three ton in that. Yeah. Right. See how the John Deere handles it. I think inside. Yeah, it will be, yeah, I mean... If it's a big bucket for that loader, it's a damn big bucket for that, isn't it? The John Deere. It keeps nice and level anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, with the pads the same height as the blades. You've got the pads on the floor, it keeps level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always find that I end up digging a hole sometimes with the other bucket. As point as putting it on that, it'll just it'll um, lift the back wheels off the floor, I think. Motocross kids are still out here, and it's probably their last week, like I've said a couple of times before. Off the lane, right? Up a bit, up a bit. Here we have it. You're alright, I think. Mind now, we don't run a load of motocross kids over. How worn out do the uh, bolts get in there when they're moving stuff like this around? They're, they're plow bolts, so underneath they won't wear. No. And if the nuts wear, you might want to change it. If you're doing a lot of heavy stuff, you're going to change these bolts. We just turn the edge anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know how long. Really the... Tilt back a bit, tilt back a bit. You're digging the soil. There you go. Is that you locked out there? Fair old bit of weight in there, isn't it? Yeah. Can I have a smaller one next time? Go on, I know there's a witty comment in there somewhere. <laughs> Tell your bucket back a bit. That's it. I can't. Oh, hang on, Dad. Stop, stop, stop. Take it back around the yard. You kept it. You kept it um, flatter on the dirt than you did on the on the concrete. This is very odd, isn't it? Yeah. So whether that was just because you. Yeah. That was well, just you, wasn't it? It's nothing to do with the bucket. It was just you. The thing about bucket manufacturers, they do make to make this parallel with that bit. It is. Yeah. So so that you can guide by that. Yep. Flat your bucket is, but because uh, I wasn't allowed for that ruddy great big blade on the front there, perhaps. In my own defence. That will dig in. This is a good, good hedge on Yeah, yeah. Well, that, this is the problem with our soil, isn't it? I mean, yeah. our soil is so so soft. Normally, you wouldn't dig in like over yours on the heavy clay. It wouldn't dig in at yeah. all, would it? You'd have to force it into the ground, probably. Once it starts to go, it will go because it'll take itself. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and the other thing, it's got a brand new blade on it as well, isn't it? So, brand new blade always means well, sharp. Well, with the skid blocks in the back, you can put the blocks down first. Yeah. And then that will always control your the... leverage on the. Uh... So, uh, what a fun and exciting day we've had. Uh, I've been drilling and uh, didn't manage to complete that because my tractor activation code has uh, gone missing on my tractor. Then Martin from Series Machinery is here turned up for us to have a go with his bucket and the JCB pooped itself. It did. <laughs> 
going nowhere. <laughs> it's an electric fuel pump one, isn't it? So I wondered if leaving it running, leaving it switched on for a little while. And that'll cut off after a few seconds like a car. What's happened, Grandad? Uh, I think the fuel filters are blocked. I hope that's what it is. Yeah, that feels pretty solid. It's yeah. not very tinny. We have. Grandad broke it. Oh no, you ain't. Was it leaking? No, fuel pump. Did I just sound really smart? No. Did you what? Did I just sound really yeah, smart? Yeah, you sounded like you knew what was going on more than I me. have no idea. <laughs> I just picked up a few words. The one star. No, it, it, two or three goes to start it over there, and then it sort of ran all right, and I should have, while it was still oh running, man. I should have it. You, time, you guys like breaking things, huh? <laughs> it's like your forte. Yeah, so I was filming on my uh, GoPro, but now we're on Anna's camera. Yeah, we finished harvesting sugar beet. Now we're going to play around with Martin's new bucket. Woo! Yeah. There's something buzzing. There's something buzzing in there. Yeah, I thought they said it was. I wonder, if, wonder what that is. What do you reckon then? Well, you can try it again. I didn't try it because I didn't know if everybody was clear. So we've had the, we've had the pump running a little while, but if you get it running. <laughs> Filter, quick serving. High speed service. You got all day in mind? Roll your speeds up, let's get on it. Yeah. <laughs> Heard you're good at high speed servicing, Daniel. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of me, thank you. <laughs> Leave the dirty jokes when the sister's out of the way. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Good job you weren't in the pub with us last night. Yes, huh? it probably is a good job. <laughs> yeah. These big grippers. I love these things. As long as they used to be. No. Oh. And it's like the kid, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah, try that. That bowl comes off the bottom there. Come off the bottom, the screw on. Oh, yeah, no, I've got two more bowl. options. Two more options. <laughs> <laughs> Got that wire, I can get that off. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see how it came up. I'm going crazy with it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it just pops. Straight down. Yeah. Ready? Trying to get that plug off the bottom. Yeah. You know how it goes out. Plug it. Just like that. Do a fire. This ain't had a fuel filter on for about 18 months, I shouldn't think. It's only done about 400 hours since we've serviced. It's a good thing about keeping our road loader. Oh, old? 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 Ood? That was really fen boy. Yeah, that was. Bro. You're not in the fens, are you? You, you, you forgot that. Officially, I'm not. You forgot, to finish that, forgot to finish that sentence. You do that all the time. What? I'll be editing you and you half a sentence <laughs> and then you don't finish it. I'll be like, what was he just about to say? You just you just started to say, and good job we keep kept our old loader or something. And he's walking away. That was the full sentence. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. The other day, Fuel filter on it at some point. Say that again. I'm not even thinking the other day it might need a fuel filter on it. My JCB style filter. <laughs> Other filters are available. Other filters are available. <laughs> Can you get it off now? Heavy? 
can't remember how you... That's you'd... why I tipped it out because I didn't see any, any bits in it. Ooh. Chocolatey. New, new filter day for the load of Should you be putting one on there that's not JCV? Or does it not matter? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you will all... <laughs> this is not a genuine farm. <laughs> that's what the sticker says in the cab normally. We do... We... Yeah. Everything here is duct taped, Martin. <laughs> Red string. Duct tape red stringed or um or what's the other one? Uh cable ties. Like the other one, eh? So it's sealed up mine, that's sealed up, isn't it? Yep. I think you just go and turn the plug on like dad's about to. Your handy dandy assistant. This is where it all explodes into a great ball of fire. Yeah, I'm gonna move out of the way. Turn the ignition on, Dad. At some point I'm gonna fall in this little drain here. It's gonna happen, isn't it? I've been filling up with fuel either. Mm. There is a buzzing. Yeah, even I can hear the buzzing with my uh, unique style of hearing. Have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? <laughs> Have you just tried turning it off and turning it on again? I'm here. <laughs> There's a book behind the seat. Oh yeah, there is a book. Oil, uh, fuel system, induction, water separator, bleeding the system. J there we go, we're on it now. The JCB Bible's out. Yeah, you watch it be the page that's missing. Uh, the engine installation features an electronic operated fuel lift pump. A, the system is designed to bleed automatically when the lift pump is operated. Make sure that as much air is removed from the fuel system as possible before starting. Turn on the start switch to start the fuel pump. I bet that fuel pump's knackered, isn't it? That's buzzing. Yeah. Yeah, well it should be filling the bloody fuel pump. Uh, fuel filter up. It's got a glass bowl on the bottom of it, isn't it? It says leave it for 30 seconds and then turn it on. I've got myself a little dog this year and uh, he's turned it It's all buzzing there, Martin, but that, that electronic lift pump should be um, up and running. There's a little bit in there, it's trickled in there a bit, but... It ain't gonna damage anything, are you saying? You seem to out hit it with something. Hit it with something. That should be buzzing, I think. Buzzing. Oh yeah, I ain't got a clue what these labels mean. <laughs> um, What's it say? There should be one there, it's a picture of like diesel or fuel or something. It'd say fuel, there'd be a picture of the international symbol for fuel. Um, are we playing Pictionary here? Yeah, we're playing Pictionary to see if it's... A... What yeah. happened? Did you fix it? Yeah, we got it fixed in the end, but then we had a pipe... <laughs> pipe fell off underneath there, look. What was wrong with it? Um, we've lost the earth on the, in the wiring. So, good old Martin has helped us fix that. So yeah, we've just had a little play around with Martin's new bucket. So, Martin, you got a new bucket? Yep. yep. New, new general purpose bucket. Yep. Um, you said it was a little bit different from the old one. Yep, couple of little changes. Couple of little changes. A bit just, easier to use. Would that be like you said about the blocks and stuff like that, to, to the changes or just a Different approach slight, to manufacturing or something like that? Slight different change in angles and... Right, okay, yeah. Nothing too rocket science change, but... Yeah. Yeah, just try to improve things as we can. Yeah. And how big did you say that was? Did you say it was 1.8 cubic meters? 1.6. 1.6. But um, that is 8 foot wide. Yeah. And that's 8 foot wide internally, so 8 foot free. Well, the great thing about it is it's wider than the JCB, which means you always have a clean footprint to work in. Trying to avoid punctures and running on too much rubbish. Yeah. And... Um, but yeah, it made, it made, I mean, it made that cough, didn't it? Yeah. Um, but then we've only got like a little six foot, like general purpose handling bucket. And uh, it ain't big enough for that. It's more than man enough. We bought it for the John Deere, yeah, yeah. that's the trouble. So yeah, can't thank Martin enough really. Um, yeah, so if anyone needs a bucket, get over to Series Machinery. But this one's just made out of? High tensile steel. High tensile steel. It's you did, five. Yeah, you did say what the name was earlier. Sorry to put you on the spot like that. Yeah. That's about it. All manufactured in the UK, aren't they? Yep. 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 Yeah, what more can you say, really? I don't know if there's any other options you can get with it, Martin. No, just got a bolt on the cutting edge, that's an option. Yeah, so if you were moving dirt around all the time, you probably wouldn't have a bolt on edge, would you? It really depends on the materials and where you're going and what you're doing. Yeah. Reversible cutting edge as well, so. Yeah, yeah. My, my philosophy, if it's there and in front of you and it looks okay, yeah. buy it. But a bolt on but a blade would be mega. But this is more, this is uh, industrial spec. A lot of this type of bucket goes straight to higher fleets, 
and quarries. I mean, it's not our top spec. Our top spec is the titanium. Yeah. But this being our general purpose is still one of the strongest buckets on the market, even though it's not one of our top range. Yeah. I have noticed by looking at it, the, the steel side plates and stuff are a lot thicker than any yes. of my other buckets that I've got laying around. And you'll probably find the quality of the steel is a lot better than mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones. Yeah, with, with a bucket like this, like I say, it's a general purpose bucket rather than a like potato handling bucket. You would never have a bolt on bucket like that with, with the bolts in, would you? But do you make any bigger buckets than mine? You yes. make all sorts, do you? Yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, loading shovel, tow tip. So yeah. we do some big buggers. 360 ones? Yes. Yeah, we get start them. the 360 diggers. We start at 46 ton and go upwards. 46 ton and go upwards. upwards yeah, so 46 ton machine and upwards. We <laughs> find there's not really much of a market for. It's a very competitive and a sort of lower end market for the smaller machines. Yeah, there's a lot of imported buckets for 100 pounds that we're just not going to play try and play against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it gets onto the quarry inside, mm -hmm. we do some big stuff, but it is bespoke. Yeah. Once you get onto the buckets that are used more all the time, whether it be loading shovel or extreme use tele handlers and our titanium range they're all just designed, designed spoke for the machine and their application right yeah so this is more the yeah this is the general purpose this is what an off the shelf type bucket yeah um, yeah when we get to our titaniums because they're made of 100 percent hard ox they are uh yeah specially Durable. designed and built for the job um yeah the bucket weight Spe specific job yeah not just go out and move rubble go out and move dirt no but the good thing with the hard ox buckets is you can actually yeah, reduce the weight of your bucket overall by about half and the longevity from up six, seven times greater. Right. So, so the hard ox buckets, they are, they're, they're a different price bracket. Yeah. But the returns and the yields on them and the cycle times are greatly improved because of it. So if you're doing a lot with machine, go for the titanium bucket and it'll pay for itself. Yeah. If you were moving rock around all day, you'd definitely have that, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but even if you're moving wheat around all day. Yeah. Yeah. Like you were saying earlier, how many thousands of tons have you got a bucket that's moved? Uh, we've Six, got 600,000 tons or something? 640,000 tons. We've got an 18 month old grain bucket that's done. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's constantly loading, as you can imagine, doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's not showing any signs of, wear, signs of wear, and they are just looking at turning their cutting edge. Right. <laughs> so, so. They're doing quite well with that one, then, aren't yeah. they? Got me granddad impressed with it? It's a nice bucket, yeah. Yeah. It's handled well out there, didn't it? Yeah. It's uh, more than a match. I think a four-ton machine maybe would be perfect for that. Would you do the same width, Martin, but slightly less cube? Yes, we've got options on the cube. We've got a larger cube and a smaller cube in the same. Right, right, right. In that same width. But it really depends on your application and quantity. Yeah. Yeah, what machine you're putting it on, what you got to do with it. I like this bit down the side here, but we can't see it now because it's all dirty. Oh, you got a scraper on you. That's good, I like that. I don't know if any of our other buckets have got these little hoops on. Just for picking them up um, with a chain, yeah, moving one around. Of, one of them has. Uh, why, why is there one on the bottom for the same sort of thing? Just for. Uh, yeah, strapping them down, using them, and it stops people wearing the arse end of the buckets, particularly yeah. the larger buckets. If you put them on, yeah. and they're in quarry use, they dig in the ground. They have a hell of a trail where you've gone. So yeah. it's just partially to stop them wearing out. I've done our two main buckets, uh, two of our buckets. Yeah, you ended up uh, back. The over. first two, uh, they're the first two I've done in 15 years. Or we just don't wear anything up. No. Traditionally, we don't have a we don't have a bucket with a bolt on blade yeah. because we have ours for either for crane handler or for used to have a lot of tails. You see, yeah. they want smooth. We used to well, have, like, most we used to have a cut out in here up like that, so that thing smashing all well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then if you want to use it for wheat, you bolt the plate in. Yeah. So they'd be fine for wheat, wouldn't they? But yeah, yeah. Tastes good. You don't want to. I've got to clean it down now, haven't I? Do you want me to clean it down? Do you want me to get that lot out? Okay. Right, okay. Go back as it is. Something yeah. to move dirt and I'll go around. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>